when one understands that the world is nothing but one's own mental formations one's own imaginations one's own stories the entire press perspective changes all the habit patterns that were tormenting the person earlier are given up there are certain very clear qualities that you see in a person who is growing spiritually let's contemplate on those qualities i'll say the quality and we will accept the quality in the moment we will embrace that quality in the moment the first is freedom from all dependence and desires freedom from all dependence and desires considering peace more important than anything else considering peace more important than anything else equanimity in painful situations equanimity in painful situations there are three ways that one gets tormented by the world it could be either from the bodily afflictions like sickness cold or any other disease or it could be from the people that one is surrounded by one's family one's neighbors one's friends one's foes or thirdly it could be just because of one's expectations these are the three ways most of the people in the world get tormented by they suffer due to these three there's a fourth one also but whose impact its impact is very negligible the the torment that is given by nature like there is a earthquake here or there is a tornado there that's a secondary aspect the first three are very important one who is meditating well does not mind any painful situation he holds on to equanimity with firmness like a rock he stands in all the pains and also equanimity in pleasurable situations in pleasures he is not unduly excited about anything he understands that things come things go nothing is going to stay 
Pain comes, pain goes. Pleasure comes, pleasure goes. Gain comes, gain goes. Loss comes, loss goes. Honor comes, honor goes. Blame comes, blame goes. Heat comes, heat goes. Cold comes, cold goes. Spring comes, spring goes. Nothing stays. Hence, he is equanimous. Equanimity is the most invaluable treasure for him. His gaze is so internalized. There is hardly any scope of getting agitated by the external situations, whatever they are. The body is in pain, he is a witness. People are shouting at him, he is a witness. And he does not have expectations from others. If sometimes he can forget, but the moment he wakes up, he wakes up fully. There is a shining awareness in him. And he is instantly able to come out of the expectations, the mental formations like that, instantly. A meditator is free from the notion of possession also. That something is mine, he understands that it's a notion. It's all natures, it's all there. You can't even create one grain of rice. Even the best of the scientists in the world can't create one grain of rice. Nobody has created anything. You just attach yourself, identify yourself with certain objects or people, with your beliefs, with your stories, with your notions, with your adjectives and that's the cause of most of the suffering in the world. A neighbor's son dies, well, we feel, but then we don't get shattered. Our own son dies, we get shattered. It's only one person who has died. But in one case, there is the notion of possession. In the other case, there is not the notion of possession. One is free from that possession. And that's the difference. One can cause suffering, the other can keep you peaceful. The moment you let go of the notion of possession, peace results. A meditator has therefore very clear priorities. His peace is the foremost. He understands that that is his only obligation in life. Peace, peace. A meditator is free from fear, is free from anger also. Why should he get angry? He has no reason because he does not expect, he does not want to control anything, he does not want to control anybody. He does not want praise, he does not care about status. He does not care about how much money he has, whether others have more money or others have more things than him. These are all inconsequential for him. He is equanimous, therefore. He is free from fear, he is free from anger. These are the qualities of a free person, dear. Let us try to invoke these qualities. Let us try to live in these qualities. Let us try to strengthen our meditation so that we are able to realize freedom in this very life itself.